What's going on, agents? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and after a week of going dark, I am back with another build guide for you. And this Faith Healer is something you may have never used or considered using since it is way off the beaten path. Most agents immediately sell or break down Hunter's Faith gear pieces due to their lack of understanding of its real potential and that is entirely to blame for how it was packaged and introduced to the player base. This versatile gear set was introduced to the division back in update 1.2 and was originally intended to be used for solo players as the four piece bonus only awarded the player using Hunter's Faith the temporary armor. In addition, the two-piece bonus of 20% marksman rifle critical hit damage and three-piece bonus 20% damage to elites were clearly aimed at marksman rifle users who were attempting to take on in-game content. Since that initial introduction, Hunter's Faith has been gradually transformed into this superb yet misunderstood gear set we now have. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the build starting off with the chess piece and it is the Tactician's Authority Vest with an Electronics main stat roll. Major attributes include a nice chunk of health along with 5% enemy armor damage. Since you will be firing your primary weapon a lot, additional ammo capacity is always a great minor attribute. Two electronics gear mods with additional skill power finish off this gear item. I used the Hunter's Faith Mask rolled in electronics with additional skill power and burn resistance. If you were going for a more damage centered healer build, additional damage versus elites would be ideal for the minor attribute. I am again using an electronics gear mod rolled with additional skill power. Hunter's Faith knee pads are used for this build and mine are rolled in electronics as the main stat roll. Skill power is my major attribute along with damage to elites and the minor attribute selections. I have chosen to equip an electronics gear mod with additional skill power and a 7.5% support station range performance mod. The backpack is my third piece of Hunter's Faith gear rolled in electronics along with a large skill power major attribute roll and additional ammo capacity as the minor attribute. I once again have equipped an electronics gear mod with additional skill power and two support station range performance mods. Since I did need a bit of firearms to unlock some of my weapon talents, I have equipped the Tactician's Authority gloves rolled for additional assault rifle damage, enemy armor damage, and critical hit chance. Since this is my second piece of Tactician's Authority gear, it unlocks the additional 15% skill haste bonus. My Hunter's Faith holster is especially good with primary stat rolls at 1260 or above in all three categories along with 7% skill haste. I finish off this final piece of gear with a 7.5% support station range performance mod. The main reason I have been holding off on this build guide is that I did not have what I felt was the right combination of weaponry to complement and synergize with this healer kit. Courtesy of Bullet King, I now have this Caduceus and it came with the right weapon talents without the need to hit the recalibration table. My Caduceus Exotic Assault Rifle has a 22% enemy armor damage percentage and came with the Talented, Determined, and Caduceus weapon talents. Now since the Caduceus weapon talent can only heal your teammates for 1% of your skill power if you can land a critical hit, my weapon mods are all centered around crits and these are not the normal weapon mods you are used to seeing in one of my build guides. I have equipped a high velocity magazine with critical hit chance, mag size, and crit hit damage, a 552 hollow sight with critical hit chance, range, and headshot damage, an Omega rifle suppressor with headshot damage, crit hit chance, and range, and a small grip with critical hit damage. Since assault rifles have no inherent crit hit chance, and since the Caduceus weapon talent can only heal if you land a critical hit, it is extremely important that you spec as much as possible into crit hit chance to stand the best chance of landing a critical hit and therefore applying the healing effect to your squad mates. For my secondary weapon, I am using an M700 carbon marksman rifle with a near maxed out headshot damage multiplier. Weapon talents include deadly, cool-headed and elevated, with deadly and cool-headed being the talents to concentrate on. Now since I am specced into crit and have a fairly decent pulse, deadly allows for significant damage if I headshot an NPC at the same time hitting for a critical hit. Cool-headed is an excellent weapon talent for skill power builds as a 5% skill cooldown reduction just for landing a headshot is significant. 
Weapon mods include a 120% extended magazine, headshot damage scope and suppressor, and critical hit damage small grip. With this much skill power, my recon pack pulse is on a 20 second cooldown before factors like determined proccing are brought into the mix. With the 34.50 critical hit chance, my crit hit chance between my caduceus weapon mods and pulse bring me up to the critical hit chance hard cap. My life support station has a 9.71 meter range, which allows for squad mates to move freely through the healing halo and still being inside the coverage without distance restrictions. Just like Pulse, my support station has a 20 second cooldown, which works fine for most combat situations. Since this build is all about supporting the squad, my talents are centered around that playstyle. I use Triage to help squad mates and further reduce my skill cooldown timers, Battle Buddy to buff up my damage resistance after reviving a downed teammate, Combat Medic to heal the entire squad for a massive 40% just for using a med kit within 20 meters, and finally Evasive Action for when I am needed to res a downed squad mate that is surrounded by NPCs. Now that we've gone over the build itself, it's time to quickly discuss the merits and versatility Hunter's Faith can bring to the battlefield. If you can step outside the sheer numbers of this build, which quite frankly are not overwhelming, you can break down exactly what this Faith Healer build can bring to the squad healer arena. First, the Hunter's Faith armor bonus is added to my squad base just for landing around on an enemy target and will constantly reapply as long as I keep firing and hitting enemies. It doesn't matter how much damage I do to them just as long as my rounds connect with an enemy. In addition, shooting enemy riot shields will also proc the squad armor buff and overall this is an extremely strong mechanic to use in game. Being able to essentially apply and reapply a squad shield buff over and over to protect against incoming rounds is merit enough to try out this build. However, I have tried to take this build to a whole nother level by equipping Caduceus and large amounts of skill power, which in my opinion can bring this healer build up to game breaking levels. Since I have spec'd heavily into critical hit chance to ensure that Caduceus crits to apply the healing effect, I can not only apply the Squad Shield Hunter's Faith gear set bonus, but I can simultaneously apply healing to squad mates simply by shooting enemies. Remember, Caduceus will only apply the heals if you crit your intended target, and if you do crit, will apply 1% of your skill power as healing to squad mates. Since I am right around 300,000 skill power in the upcoming video clips, every time I crit an enemy, my squad mates will receive roughly 3,000 points worth of healing. The final healer addition to this build is the skill power levels and the ability to lay down my support station with a large radius that applies even more healing or reses down squad mates should my hunter's faith armor buff or caduceus healing effects not be enough to keep them alive. It is this Hunter's Faith armor buff, Caduceus healing effect, and support station with high skill power combination that really takes this Faith Healer build to extreme levels, and it is now my favorite build for using in squad situations, as it can really keep your squad healed up and fighting in extremely hectic firefights. If you really wanted to add a fourth dimension, you could swap out Pulse for the first aid with ally healing performance mods, but you will need somebody on the squad to equip Pulse to keep your Caduceus crit chance maxed out. I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now, but make sure and stay tuned for my Faith Healer video highlights. One thing to really concentrate on is my squad mates health bars and how quickly I can bring them back up to max or keep them on full health. And as always, I would love to hear what you thought about my Faith Healer build guide video. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with a huge thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my division content in your lives, make sure to pound that sub button and follow me on Twitter at Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. And remember from my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. Until my next The Division video, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer saying peace out.